Okay. You've got. Yeah. So I. What, what do you? What are you? What are your games? I got my list. I can yeah. pull it up right here. So you know, just to lay it out there for everybody and uh, the world of listening to us, um, we're not worried about licenses. Yeah, take and, away the trademarks, yeah, all that stuff. A- any hoops that somebody might jump through. Yeah, all the legal jargon, yeah. all the legal this nonsense. Is, this is just it's just a fun list. This is a wish just, list. It's good to wish list. Yeah. All right, so... See how many we share. Yeah. So I definitely have a, I have 1080 snowboarding on mine. I have which, that as well. <laughs> I mean, that game... That game's that fun. Was so fun back in the day. It, and I think, I think if, like, that's a prime example of what the 64 did was fun sports games yeah like because I, I i don't like sport games to me are just not fun yeah. but like the 64 had because they just didn't feel like you were playing sports games they felt like you were yeah. just playing crazy arcade I, games I actually, like 1080 was like i feel like it was one of the first games where i felt like the game was just cool like they're like yeah. when you're picking your character, they're just like hanging out in this like yeah. in this little like kind of cabin like the dudes at the pool table yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just like they're just hanging out it's like Yo, this is cool. Yeah. Snowboarding's cool. It's like how I felt about like Tony Hawk. Like, yeah, the, yeah. the dudes are just like just hanging out. Yeah, just they're like, just yeah. like sup? What's I can up? skate. You want to snowboard? Let's go. I kind of do like, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah some good you. music. It's like it's yeah. a cool game. It's just know? fun. Yeah, and just like straight up, just a fun game. Yeah, I I dug it. I All right, dog. So next one I have, Battle Tanks. Oh, I don't, I don't have that. I never even played that. Man, that was a awesome game back yeah? in the day yeah it was just it was a it was a tank battle game and you're just like, Ooh, like roaming through these like cities is like different like arkham knight <sighs> tank Dude, battles don't, don't even <laughs> give me start i wish arkham knight <laughs> had tank battles as good as these tank battles <laughs> yeah i mean you're just like running around like you know four you know four player multiplayer you're just like hanging out with your friends like like I wish, and I, I've never played World of Tanks. Maybe it's as good, but mm-hmm. I wish there was like a really, really good, just tank multiplayer game again. Because that was just super fun. Like nobody does tanks. It's like yeah, there's really not many tank outside, games. Outside like like Battlefield, and you're like you know, yeah, I mean yeah, yeah those, those are pretty fun. But like exclusively right. like a like a tank battle game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think that would be super rad yeah, to, to see you. something like that again. So. You know, I like Battle Tanks. It's a good game. All right, I believe. Game. I'll take your word for it. I don't think you do. All right. You're right. So, <laughs> You're a dirty liar. So, next on my list, yep. I'm, I'm going to say just any of the um, the WCW or WWF games. Oh, like, the wrestling games. Yeah. yeah, like either WCW Revenge or WWF No Mercy. Like, I, I played No Mercy. Yeah. That was fun. And, and that was, I think, the last one for the N64, if I'm not mistaken. Was like, that game came out pretty late. I think that came out 2001 Oof. when that came out. Like, it was pretty darn late. In, was in the, was in SmackDown the 2000? Was that on 64? No, no. no? That, was, that was on that trash system. <laughs> those now. games were so bad. Hey Any of those, like, you can say the game was bad, not the system. <laughs> Shh, Relax. Uh, at least uh, those games were just horrid. Yeah, yeah. Like the N64 had so many good wrestling games. No, no I know. And like PlayStation One, PlayStation Two, they just I don't I don't know who was developing those games, but they were super bad. Like, uh, like WWF, like Shut Your Mouth, and like SmackDown. Yeah, like all those are just super <laughs> bad games. <No. laughs> it's like what is going on in this yeah. console? To each but own. The, the N64, I mean, just the the mechanics, the uh, the. You know, create a character, just yep. like, all, you know, the, even like the story modes and stuff were a lot of fun. Um, mm-hmm. So I was really, I, I really dug all those games. But I, I would select No Mercy out of all of them. I think it was the best out of the bunch. Yeah, yeah, I remember playing them at Cousin's House. Lots yeah. of fun. That was, was a fun game. Awesome game. Yeah, I agree. All right, so next I have, I have Turok 2, which... Yeah, that's a good one. Brah, that game... I've heard good things. Brah. That game is out of this world good. Like, like I've heard leaps and bounds ahead of the first one. Yes, because I have the first far. one. Yeah, that's a bad game. And, <laughs> yeah, but Turok Two, did, Acclaim just crushed it with that game. Yeah, like that was like the first game that I played that I like. I could almost see where like uh, games could go in the future. Like it had voice acting in it. Mm-hmm. It had like. Um, Really good character designs and like these kind of crazy open-ish worlds. Yeah. Um, 
and uh, I mean, there was just a plethora of weapons you could you could use, and there were certain. There was also like you could target different parts of the body of like the of the enemies, and they would do different things. Like you could blow Ooh. off legs. And, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, or like there were there were these um, these certain enemies. Like if you were shooting them, but you didn't kill them fast enough, they would just like you know type this thing into their little like wrist things that like blow themselves up and it's just it's just super rad yeah yeah and even like the multiplayer was awesome and they they were just yeah i i could talk about that game forever that game was you have it awesome oh yeah i have it nice nice try and play it dude it's it's dope i think it holds up it doesn't but i think it holds up i mean it's (laughs) just like the first one doesn't really hold up at all i mean it's like in 64 games it's hard to hold up yeah like even like go back and play goldeneye like i don't i don't even think that holds up It's a rough game. Yeah, yeah. But speaking of which, Goldeneye. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I figured. Yeah, Goldeneye should be on that list. I mean, that's... Yeah. It's just such a classic. I mean, it'd yeah. be hard not to have that on this list. I, I think in a lot of ways it almost made the N64 for, like, a more casual audience. If mm-hmm. uh, I agree. Cause it's, you know, it's like... What really makes that system is Mario 64 and, and the Zelda games, yeah. by, by far. But it's like, you think about, like, FPSs on a console... And, like, just, uh, I feel like there's so many just, like, people that never really played video games that just knew Goldeneye, played Goldeneye. Yeah. And it's just, you could just gather a bunch of people over at a house and, and play Goldeneye. like, that was the best part about it, just killer multiplayer. Yeah. And when you get the golden guns, that's yeah. so cool. My favorite is just Slaps Only, if you ever, if you remember that mode. What? You don't remember Slaps Only? No. <laughs> it's, it's just karate chops. You run around karate chopping people, I don't but it's called that. Slaps Only. That sounds funny. <laughs> or you could do... Slaps only with golden guns. Oh, nice. <laughs> so you run around trying to find a golden gun, and then you just, you're like, oh, no, don't kill me. You're just trying to karate chop. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh, man, I love the multiplayer in that game yeah, back in so the day. Yeah, so much fun, dude. Uh, okay, so next to my list is uh, Pokemon Stadium. I mean, it's... Yeah, I think... I think it would be a tough game to put on there. Yeah. Um, but I think that should be on there. If not Pokemon Stadium, at least Pokemon Snap. One of the Pokemon. I agree. I agree. I actually had both of those on my list. Yeah. Um, I think. Yeah. I, I think they need to be on there. Yeah. Uh, just for the where Pokemon was at the time, and just when like I, like I can't. For those who weren't around, or didn't have the knowledge of when Pokemon Stadium came out, like it was, to me and people I knew, it was mind blowing. Yeah. Because like Pokemon to that point had only been known for two things, like one, the TV show. And two, playing it on your tiny little Game Boy. Yeah. And then when you realize, first off, that you can play with huge, fully rendered 3D Pokemon and just blast and attacks at each yeah. other, and then you can plug in your game into it and you oh, play yeah. the big TV. It's amazing. Yeah, mind blown. Like that. That's when I saw. Oh my God, the future. Like it's <laughs> there here. There it is. Like the future it's here, is here right now. Uh, <laughs> And then you play someone like Hello Pikachu, you're like, ooh, this is not the future. It's a bad game. We're going back in time. <laughs> Nothing about this works. Yeah. That damn, <laughs> that damn thing did not listen. Yeah. That's so, like, you know, me, me and like buddies back in the day, we would just call it like F you Pikachu because <laughs> yeah, that's all you do. You just like yeah. cuss at it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Pretty much. <laughs> it's like that the stupid thing didn't listen. You're just yelling at yeah. it. Yeah. It's just a dumb mouse. What do you expect? Dumb mouse. Um, so next on my list, what do I have here? Cruising USA is Ooh. such a freaking classic, man. Yeah, D- played that, that at the arcade the other night. Yeah, I mean, but the just the original mm-hmm. was freaking awesome back in the day. Like, yeah. it does not hold up whatsoever now. No, yeah, it's pretty rough. Did just my nostalgic memories of that hanging out with uh, an old buddy of mine and playing that game. Yeah, every like after school every day for like months. Sure, it's sure. like. It's just such a classic that I just I want to put that on the list. I feel you. I feel you. They, these there is no rules to this list. If it's fully yeah. nostalgia, it doesn't have to be a good game. If it yeah. brings up but good it's like, times, you know, it's, it's one of those things. Like you know, some of the games even on like the NES, SNES classics, they're not necessarily great games. But it's just like it's part of the history. You know? Sure. It's like yeah, it's, it's like it's, a, to, it's important to yeah. play that game. And I think it was just such a great uh, great racing game outside of Mario Kart. Yeah. You know, at the time, anyways. Diddy, Diddy, Diddy Kong racing. never counts. Dude, why do people love that game? <laughs> it's such a bad game. That's a hot take, Even man. at the time, it's just why? like, ugh, like, what is this? Why do people love that game so much? I, I don't understand. I don't know. And also, just 
love the uh, the music from Cruising USA. Yeah. And just like the intro and stuff, it's just like Cruising, yeah, yeah. Cruising USA. Yeah. yeah just, it's good. Hey, it's good. I know. It's a rad game. It's good. All right. So next, uh, how long's your list? Uh, I, pu- I put ten on here. Oh, okay. Ten ish, I think. Um, but just kind of going through some some old classics. No, no, here. I feel uh, you. I feel you, dog. Calm down. So we got um, one of the Star Wars games, either Ro- uh, Rogue Rogue Squadron, Squadron or or the Pod, Pod Racing. Pod Racing, game. of course. Like those games are freaking amazing. Back Pod the Racing. Day. They took the worst part of that movie <laughs> and made a really good game out of it. Yeah, surprisingly good. Yeah, you know, I, I talked about just a second ago. Good racing games, and that was one of them. Oh yeah, that was absolutely. Super fun back then. That, that, yeah, absolutely. Like that game made you feel like you're going fast, mm-hmm. and uh, it's rad. Yeah, I was digging it. I feel. You. I like. I love that game. All right, so I'm gonna blow through this a little bit. We've already talked about Mario Kart. Talked about Mario Party. Yeah. I think Mario Party One is just an absolute essential. Yeah, I think it needs to be on there. It's one of those just has to be. Nintendo's like, all right, it's it's part yeah. of the seven that needs to be on the list, or it needs to be I, on there. Like maybe it's just me, but that was my favorite out of the bunch. Was was the first one. First one yeah. out of all ten that have been made. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I I think there's probably some better ones in there. Like I think it was Mario Party Three that was for the N64. That was yeah. also really the really good. The first three for the 64. But I don't know. It's just like a nostalgic thing, classic. Just yeah. Put the first one on there. Yeah, one's good. I like six um, on, the, on the cube. That was a good one. Yeah. And then uh, obviously Banjo Kazooie needs to be on there. Like I don't well, know how, but I, I know there's some things. But it's it's on our list. Look, Phil seems to be a cool guy. <laughs> so just hit, hit him up call. and be like, "Look, Phil, get, get we need we need a Kazooie and Tui. Yeah, we need both of them on this system. Yeah, because I, I honestly like I don't know how I don't know how you make a sixty four classic and not have any rare games. Yeah, just in I, general. Just yeah, I like I was never a big fan of Perfect Dark. I think it's kind of a bad game. That's just me. But it's like actually no, they also had a uh, Killer Instinct. That was, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they had that Killer Instinct Gold. Never played it. I, but, uh, I, I wasn't a big Killer Instinct fan when I was young, so yeah. don't look really care about uh, it. I'm trying to, what other rare games were there? Were there Jet any? Force Gemini. Oh, Jet Force Gemini. Oh, and Conquer's Bad Fur Day. God, that's on my list. <laughs> Conquer <laughs> should definitely be on there. Oh, absolutely. Although sure. I think that was on that retro uh, collection, right? It came out for Xbox. Oh yeah, yeah it was. Yeah. And then Whatever. I, it's gonna be on ours too. <laughs> I mean, it would be amazing if they did that. I doubt it because of family friendliness. Yeah, but God, it'd be amazing yeah. if they did that. Put Conquer on Conquer. there. Oh, Nintendo, right, so listen up. I'll, I'll, Put Conquer on there. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> if they, if you get anyone gives you trouble, just tell them I said it was cool. Yeah. Um, Spencer so, thinks it's uh, or yeah, Phil Spencer thinks it's all right too. I'm <laughs> taking that off now. I'm putting it at the bottom because yeah, Conquer's bad for a day. I thought that absolutely should be on there because that game, whew, man, was it fun? It was yeah. so ridiculous and, and ridiculous game. That's yeah. For sure. um, okay, so. Another one, this is a first party one that I or are you done your list yet or no? Oh, oh I'm sorry. Yeah, keep going, keep going, sorry. So I think we had the same one. Kirby Crystal Shards. <laughs> yeah. It was yeah. probably what you were about to say. Yep. Crystal Shards. Yeah. yeah that I game think was super rad. That was, a, that was a damn good Kirby game. Yeah. It was a very good Kirby game. And for like, you know, they kept it it was weird playing it because you had to use the D pad to move mm-hmm. when it was just a weird controller in general. But yeah, it just felt weird using that. But yeah, damn good game. Lightning and rock, game over. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, I really liked that game back in the day. I liked it too. Um, one that I, I think should really, really be on there is Paper Mario. I also have that on my list. Nice. It's weird. <laughs> it's uh, it's like it was a good game or something. You know? It's just man, It was okay. I, I really wish that Nintendo would bring back the Paper Mario series in its classic yeah. RPG form. Yeah. It's like that, Paper Mario for the N64 and Thousand Year Door. Just some. I mean, it's just well, when the cube, awesome. uh, when the cube uh, classic comes out. Well, I don't even need that. I just plug it. I just pop my GameCube in. Well, that's just, true. We could just play. I love it. Yeah. It's love, love, love. Uh, those games. Uh, I think you'll really like this one. Bomberman Hero. Bomberman sixty four. No, there's two of them. There's sixty four, and then there's Bomberman. Oh, Hero. I only played sixty four. Oh man. Was Here's Zero even better. The, was that the, like the sequel? Yeah, or, pretty okay, much. Yeah. But pretty I, much I, either I had those, 64 on mine. Yeah, either of those games. Yeah. I think those were like just the prime of Bomberman. Like, yeah, those are just I think so. rad, rad games. Yeah, I, I love the, not necessarily open world, but like taking those like open worldish levels, kind of like Mario 64. A lot of the 64 uh, open adventure games did that, yeah. or the 3D platformers did that. And I love Bomberman 64. 
I thought I like the music was adorable and really mm -hmm. fun and just like everything I loved about Bomberman was not ruined in the open 3D world aspect at all, which I thought was awesome. Like mm -hmm. I think they did a really good job at it. I I, yeah. I, I love that game. We should play that sometime. I, I'm I'm down. Should bust that out and, and do some like multiplayer action. I'd be down. That's It'd a good game. Rad. It's probably awful now. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think it would be. Um, I didn't put it on here, but I almost forgot about it. Uh, just you know, Mega Man 64 as well. It's yeah, like, I think I. Oh, I didn't have that one. But yeah, I had that in my head. Yeah, yeah. Mega Man 64, I think, should be on there just because it was called Mega Man 64 instead of Mega Man Legends. Yeah, which I thought was really cool. Um, yeah. you know, they made it their own kind of brand. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's good. That's a good list. And then I'm, I have one more. Oh, uh, Harvest Moon 64. Yeah. Boy, oh boy, do I love me some Harvest Moon 64, which is also Harvest Moon Back to Nature, which yeah. I I like the, uh, like, I, I played it okay. as the Back to Nature version, mm -hmm. but I, I know that, like, the 64 version is pretty much the same thing. And nice. Yeah. I, uh, that's just my favorite Harvest Moon game, and it's just freaking awesome. I'm down. I yeah. love that game back in the day. I, I, I do not, uh, I do not, I concur with what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't disagree all right. at all. I don't disagree at all. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you, you took a lot of the games. I mean, Jet Force Gemini was the last one, but yeah, like that one's, I think Jet Force Gemini should be on there. I don't think it necessarily holds up very well. I played it recently. It's tough. Yeah. Uh, it's very tough. It's just a lot of games from that era. I, I'm so, like, I played that game relatively recently and I thought about it like, God, I don't know how like 10 year old me did this. Yeah. Like, it's, it just <laughs> it blows my mind how I was able to play that game so well uh, and beat it. Um, but yeah, so I got two games left. One, I was talking to you about it the other day, Spider-Man. Oh, I love yeah. Spider-Man. Yeah, actually, I, I saw the cartridge. The red over, cartridge? Yeah, yeah. It's I so was like, cool. ooh, what's this red cartridge? Yeah. I was like, oh, man, Spider-Man. I love that cartridge. I think it's so cool. Um, but yeah, that, that game, God, I love that game so much. One, because I got, you, there are literally like 30 costumes in that game. Yeah. And they all have different abilities and different powers, and you know, they do a mix and match, like, unlimited webbing, invincibility, you can turn invisible, like yeah. there's a bunch of different powers and it's it's so much fun. I like the the story's really cool. You get so many cool villains from the Spider-Man world. You have to fight. It's just yeah. really good. Um, you know, I I personally I love that game. There's an intro with Stan Lee when it starts off. It's really cool. Yeah, you know, I've never played that that Spider-Man game. <sighs> well, you can play it. You can play. I'm going to have to check that out. It's We're going to have to bust out the 64. I'm about play to. some Bomberman, some Spider-Man, all with that. the mans. I'm 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 going to take out all the mans <laughs> and play on SX4. I love it. Um, but yeah, so Spider-Man, love that game. And then the last one, Wayne Gretzky 3D Hockey. Damn. You want to talk about fun sports <laughs> games? Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey was like, <laughs> it was so ridiculous just because like, you got like I can't say you, actually you know I, I think I have a copy of that game I've never played it oh my god you should play it because there are like you know you get like powered up for like doing like power checks and just smacking people yeah. and then you got you can get into a fight and it's kind of like sock and bock and robots the way you guys are fighting yeah. and like it takes all the wackiness you love from silly sports games like NBA Jam or NFL Blitz and it just throws it into an ice rink with you know you're playing hockey that game, yeah. dude. Oh my! It is so much Check fun. It is like, yeah, like please, if you okay, have. It, we should put NFL Blitz on this list too. Well, <laughs> and it, rad. NFL Blitz is another obvious one. Like, I think all the wacky zany sports titles should be on this list, yeah. like because they're there's so we many. We don't get anything like that nowadays. Yeah, it's, you, it's you really don't. I mean, the closest thing nowadays is like the NBA Playground, which it's okay. Yeah. Um, I didn't play. I think the second but one it came can't out. Power bomb people. No, it hasn't. It got delayed. Oh, did it? Yeah. Yeah. So like, and you, you know, you can't be on fire, and you know, <laughs> you know, like that was the fun thing. But like, he's on you. fire, you know, stuff like that. You're right. Like, it's fun, wacky sports games aren't really made anymore, and it's a yeah. shame because, honestly, like for a kid that didn't like to play sports when he was young, I loved playing those sports games, like yeah. NFL Blitz. I yeah, love so NFL. I like, love I've never been NFL a fort, Blitz. I've never been a football guy, but like. The fact that like you could you could tackle somebody and then the play is over, but then your entire team still yeah. like doing elbow drops. Yeah, still. It's yeah, like, it's so ridiculous. It's so awesome, that and series. you can like grab them, like spin them around, <laughs> throw them. Like it's so much fun. Yeah. Like the, just the wackiness of those sports games, they were so good. Um, I, I wish like I would love to do some some uh, let's plays of some wacky sports games. That'd let's be fun. Do it. Let's let's just like bust out the N sixty four. I'd be fine. I'd be fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, if Nintendo. You guys should put those right. games I in. I think there. we have a pretty solid list. Thanks so much for watching another Multiplayer Bits. If you enjoyed that, be sure to check out the full episode at youtube.com slash multiplayered. 
And hey, since you're here already, why not drop us a like and subscribe? It really helps us grow the show. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching baby.